Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our sixth grade science podcast on elements of weather. You should have completed your reading and notes before watching this podcast. Please have your notes open and add to them as you find new important information. The essential question for this section is, what is weather and how can we describe different types of weather conditions? By the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe elements of weather and explain how they are measured. What is weather? Weather, simply put, is the condition of the atmosphere at a specific place at a specific time. So when you look out your window and it's raining, your weather at the time is, well, it's raining. Pretty simple stuff. When people talk about the weather, they use terms like temperature, humidity, precipitation, air pressure, wind, and visibility. What is temperature and how is it measured? Temperature, as we already know, is the measurement of the average kinetic energy in an object or material. We also consider it a measure of the hotness in an object or material. When we talk about temperature with respect to the weather, we are usually referring to the temperature of the air in a specific area. The instrument that we use to measure the hotness of a substance, like the air around us, is called a thermometer. What is humidity and how is it measured? As water evaporates, it turns into an invisible gas that we call water vapor. The amount of water vapor in the air is called humidity. We describe the humidity as what we call relative humidity, which is the amount of water vapor that's currently in the air as compared to the maximum amount of water vapor that can possibly be absorbed into the air. If all the water vapor possible is absorbed into the air, the air is said to be saturated. Saturated air has 100% humidity. If the amount of water vapor in the air is one half as much as can possibly be absorbed, then the humidity is said to be 50%. We use an instrument called a psychrometer to measure humidity. Temperature affects the saturation point of air. Warmer air can hold more water vapor than cold air can. When saturated air cools, the water vapor in the air begins to condense into liquid water. The point at which water vapor begins to condense is called the dew point. What is precipitation and how is it measured? Water vapor condenses on the Earth's surfaces. It also condenses on dust particles in the atmosphere. These condensed water droplets form clouds. When the particles get too heavy, the water falls as precipitation. The type of precipitation depends on the air temperature. Precipitation can fall as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Rain is measured with a rain gauge, and snow is measured with a meter stick. What is air pressure, and how is it measured? Scientists measure air pressure with a barometer. Air pressure is the force of the air molecules pushing down on an area. Air pressure on any area of Earth depends on the weight of the air above that area. Air pressure and density are related. Both air pressure and air density decrease with altitude. The graphic shows that the molecules are denser near the Earth's surface than at the higher altitudes. What is wind and how is it measured? As we've previously learned, wind is caused by unequal heating of the Earth's surface, causing convection cells or convection currents. Wind is the air that moves horizontally, or parallel to the Earth's surface. Wind speed is measured by an instrument called an anemometer. Direction of the wind is measured by a weather or wind vane, or a wind sock. What is visibility and how is it measured? Visibility is a measurement of the transparency of the atmosphere. It is how well we can see through the atmosphere, how far we can see through the atmosphere. It is measured by viewing landmarks at different distances, determining the distance to the landmark. Poor visibility can be caused by fog or by polluted air. What are some ways to collect weather data? Many forms of technology are used to collect weather data. 
Some stationary forms of weather data collection are by ground stations and weather buoys. Moving forms of weather data collection are by airplane, by satellite, and by ocean ship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for the podcast. Remember, you can rewatch this podcast whenever you need to. If you still have questions, make sure to write them in your journal and ask me in class. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.